Here on The Rebel, we often look at the consequences of Islamic radicalism, but today I want to focus on a potential cause. And I'm talking about things like this 5th grade Palestinian Authority textbook that instructs kids to tell a story of a martyr from their hometown who rose in defense of his religion and his homeland Palestine. Pretty whack. Let's check it out. Well, that Palestinian Authority text I just showed you does more than just ask students to write about hometown martyrs. It also provides them with some examples. The book shows 5th graders Fatah terrorist Dalal Mughrabi, who helped kill 38 individuals, a third of whom were children, on a bus. The publisher covers her with a hijab and says, Her struggle portrays challenge and heroism, making her memory immortal in our hearts and minds. She irrigated the land of Palestine with her pure blood to create a flourishing revolutionary history that will never calm down. Yeah, um, I'm not sure I'd want my 10 year olds reading about how anyone has irrigated land with pure blood, especially terrorists. The book also insists the enemies of Islam never stop at any time and place to use all means and methods to fight Islam and the Muslims. Hmm, fight Islam and the Muslims is a very curious phrase. I mean, you could have used defend against or get blown up by Islamists or a number of other expressions, but instead you pick something that makes Israel seem like the aggressor. And don't worry, you can get your dosage of Palestinian agitprop in other grades as well. 12th grade textbooks apparently call the whole group of Jews sinful and liars, and refer to parts of Israel as part of that mythical nation Palestine. Negev Plateau is apparently in southern Palestine, and Nazareth is in the Palestinian north. One map labels Israel Palestine after the 1948 war, and then breaks the territory down into Arab lands and lands seized by the Jews after the war. One 9th grade social studies textbook argues that the solution to the problem of overcrowding in the Gaza Strip lies primarily in the return of the displaced population to their homes in Israel. I don't know about you, but the historians I typically read in school would typically just give me the facts and then let me use those to make my own arguments and draw my own conclusions. But then again, I didn't have the luxury of going to a Palestinian school. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshaw. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.